Hello, this is Sandra Brown of Happiness Past 60. But I'm 81. <laughs> I hope all of you are having a nice Sunday. Here in Tennessee, it's been rainy, misty, in the 30s, overcast, <laughs> not too nice really. But um, we went to church and uh, afterwards we were driving home and and I think I've mentioned before that it seems like Mr. Bill and I are always on the same page about everything. It's just so goofy. But I was thinking, I want to go home and make a, a video. And then we had some other plans that neighbor asked us to go over um, to come over with some other couples and they're gonna be playing a new game tonight. It's supposed to be real funny. And uh, after the football game. So uh, I didn't really wanna go out and eat. I was thinking I would kinda of like to just get a breakfast sandwich at Bucky's. I've been very good about eating this fat-free everything. But so and it's been, I don't know if it's been a couple hours yet <laughs> that I just ate this biscuit, egg, cheese, and sausage sandwich. This is the test. Okay, you see what it does, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so we, we had that and, and I thought I'd come home and, and talk to you, give you an update about this gallstone situation. I don't know what is going on. But as you know, I, for maybe a month, I was having pains under my right breast and it was wrapping around into my back straight through. Um, but I know that the doctor asked me if it was maybe a half an hour after I ate that I had this problem. I can't, I hadn't really noticed, but I didn't think so. But anyways, you know, I had that uh, video I did about the gallstones. Well, I went and had the ultrasound done. Lo and behold, well, of course, I gotta say this, a lot of you have been praying for me. And some of my friends have been praying for me and Bill and I have been praying. But they did the ultrasound and there was absolutely nothing. No stones, liver is normal, spleen is normal, pancreas is normal, uh, the, our arteries, I guess, somewhere in there. I don't know, but everything. Cause she really, really tested everything nothing. So now I went onto this port at the Cumberland Medical Center and uh, I think it hooks you up with any other place that you've ever been and had tests done. And so I went online because I would have to wait like two or three days to get the results. So I'm not patient with that. But I waited long enough to get the ultrasound. I wanted the results. So I went on the port where my sis sister had suggested and, and I had heard that, I just had never signed up for it. I thought, oh well, I'll do it. So I did and found my results uh, very easily and quickly. Well, it wasn't easy getting on the port, but, <laughs> but once I got that figured out. But now I'll wait and then tomorrow I should be hearing from my doctor who will also be reading the results and see what she thinks is going on. I mean, this was her idea that it was gallstones. I had that one really bad attack Friday, but it was like between my shoulder blades. And I'm thinking, I just rolled on my right side and this hit me in my shoulder, between my shoulder blades. Very bad. So I feel fine now. I don't know what is going on, but in my heart of hearts, 
I've had this happen many times. Uh, I haven't shared this year, but I was even one time on a liver transplant list. And overnight, it totally changed after prayer. Um, there's been so many things I've been healed from. Uh, now you might ask, well, what about with the heart attack? Well, I don't know, that came on me so fast I didn't have time to think. I mean, we did pray, but but I don't know what's going on here. But in my heart, I choose to, and I do believe I'm just healed. So, but it has gotten me thinking about, except for the Bucky sandwich, I shouldn't eat the sandwich, a Bucky sandwich. You know, well, as long as I don't do it every day. But I've been doing really well with what I'm eating. As far as not eating a lot of fatty stuff. and yeah. So I think I might try to get on type, a Mediterranean type diet. Might be the best to do. I've heard that's the best. We'll see how far. I've got 18 minutes I did. I don't know. I think maybe I should stop this. I think so. Let me see if I missed anything. Double check. Um, oh yeah, and also I was taking ibuprofen for maybe a week, week and a half, and I really don't like taking it, but I was just, and I was using the heating pad. I was just so concerned about getting, that pain getting real bad again once you have it. <laughs> but one of you, and I'm listening to all the things, the tips that you sent me, they're really good. I appreciate it. Don't be afraid to send them. Uh, someone said, you know, that's not good for you to be taking ibuprofen when you're on blood thinners because it thins your blood. I didn't, I didn't really realize that ibuprofen did that. So I got off of it right away and switched over to Tylenol. So thank you for that tip. And, uh, I'll let you know more after I hear, you know, from my doctor. No idea what's going on. But I'm just thankful I don't have any stones. That's so good. Or maybe I had one and it, it went through. Maybe that's that night where I had the bad pain. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little chit-chat in just a minute. Okay, bye-bye.